Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo uh, commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Tel Aviv 2022 in the women's under 63 division. And in white, we have Adelina Novitsky from Israel. And in the blue, we have Nadia Simeoli from Italy. And the competitors are just getting on the mat now. And we will get started right away. So in white is Adelina and in blue is Nadia. <clears throat> All right, so Adelina's got the same uh, same side grip there, and uh, you'd like to see her attack with that because you can only do that. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, what's what can you say about that? <laughs> she just took a Nadia just basically took a dive there to uh, escape that. All right, and now she's got it turned over. Okay, will Adelina turn that into a hold down or Jujikatami? No, the leg's not over the forehead, though. Yeah. Oh, but it's now. And will she get the extension? I don't think so, because she didn't. Oh, maybe. The arm is holding on. Oh, she's got the isolation. Is it? That is the direction in the right direction? Almost. It's straightened out now. It's, it doesn't look good, because I think the elbow is pointing downward. Yeah. Okay. Adelina there needed to rotate from the wrist. Uh the extended arm in order to uh, get the hyper extension, like to, to get the elbow in the right position so that you could hyper extend it. Right. So she did a good job, spent a lot of energy getting it like away from the body, which is good, but just needed the last step of just rotating it just enough, just so that way she can get it the position she needed. So that's what saved uh, Nadia there, but that didn't look good for her for sure. I mean, Okay, no matter is called. Keep going, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What are you doing? Okay, so a high back grip now by Nadia into a, a harai sort of sorts, and uh, once again, Adelina is going for the the jujikatami, but this time uh, doesn't have the leg over the belly. So, and Nadia is able to uh, get out of it. And Nadia now, it looks like, is she also going for her Jujikatami? Or is she going for, yeah, it looks like she is also going for uh, for that arm bar. But uh, we're getting a mate. Mm, okay, I mean, it looked like there was some progress going. So I'm a little surprised at that, but uh, not too mad about it, really. Okay. Oh, same side. Kind of going for a Makikomi there, but then let go of the grip around the back. Um, it would be hard, I really guess, to really get an effective Makikomi going. Okay, and she's... Uh, Natalina now is penalized for uh, not attacking, so... It's true, we haven't seen very many attacks from her. That is a very uh, not-good-looking attack. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think some of the best stuff from Adelina has been in the Nebuza for sure. Uh, but the, th the, the I haven't seen very many th uh, credible attempts at throwing yet. So, let's see what grip does she end up with? It ends up getting, okay. Nope. Those also, those, 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 but it turns around. Nadia turns it around, and uh, Adelina flips it onto her stomach, avoiding any uh, score from the counter. It was good. She's going to need to keep the pressure going, though. Okay, high collar grip for Nadia. And uh, there, it, oh, that looks, that looked good. If there was more rotation in the upper body, that could have been uh, a score for uh, Nadia, but... Uh, Sort of went down and just kind of left it. It was a slow motion escape from uh, from Adelina from the throw, so wasn't exactly okay. Another penalty to Adelina, so she really does need to move in terms of attacking. Oh, what's happening? They're waving it off. Okay, so uh, so she's fine. She's still got one shido. Same side of attack now from Adelina. And now switched it back. And, oh, that's going to be Wazari. And there's an Osakomi called. 
And uh, can Adelina get out? It's almost like, yeah, okay. I think that's Ipong getting called. The gong is that it's called. And that's the end of the match. Good. Very good for Nadia. Congratulations to her. Let's revisit the last sort of uh, sequence there. In terms of the throw and then the hold down. So she... It's a counter, right? So off of the weak attack by Adelina, right? Uh, it's a like a Tanya Tosh and uh, just jumps right on immediately into the, into uh, well, it originally looks like a, you know, Yokoshio, but then sort of converts it into a, well, <laughs> almost the same position as a Kasakatomi. Uh, by that point, it looked like she was done. I think Adelina like showed some good fire there. Um, the Neowaza was okay, but the attack, I think the attacks themselves, they aren't credible enough, right? So, uh, nothing looks, nothing was really very scary, I think, for Nadia. So, something for her to think about in terms of, uh, developing her, uh, throws was you got to get something that like you know it needs to be like fierce right like it's like oh oh like if they get out of it they're like that was a close one right so um so that's part of the problem i think lots of players have is they have lots of an array of dull knives but you what you need is one really sharp knife right and it's like because that that'll that'll end it fast right but if you got a bunch of butter knives uh, okay, great, great that you have a hundred butter knives. I just have one really sharp knife. That's then that's what uh, that's what it'll take to win, right? So, um, so those are my thoughts. If you have your own thoughts, please leave a comment. If you uh, enjoy this video, consider hitting like and subscribe. And until next match, have a great night.